Hi everyone, it is September 15, 2018. I am hoping that I'm going to have some time before power goes out here. I, I have no doubt it's going to go out and the winds are already, um, well, strong enough to take down trees here in Anderson, South Carolina. And I just heard from a neighbor that the rains are supposed to start around 4 p.m. this afternoon. So, um, I first want to ask all of my subscribers in South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia, all of you in those four states, can you leave comments periodically about what is happening in your area? Like Debbie Duke, friends near Wilmington, North Carolina, said things were fine. And I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, hardly any rain. And I've been getting comments from people in North Carolina, and they have been telling me that in their areas, it was not that bad. Yeah, some trees came down. Um, some had power outages. But this hurricane seems to be very spotty, very... Uh, the damage is quite isolated. So they could be creating these microbursts to bring about damage in isolated areas. Um, and the flash flooding as well. But I want to show you something. This is Town of Apex. This is a live webcam. Town of Apex, North Carolina. So they got rain and the winds don't look that bad. People are just driving around. No damage, no debris on the street, nothing. Well, this is Apex. This is Raleigh, North Carolina, Apex. So, this is, you're in, you're in the, out, you're outside, you're in the outside bands of a hurricane. You should be experiencing heavy winds, right? Uh, flooding. I got a comment from a subscriber in North Carolina, uh, in Raleigh. So I'm assuming that he still has power. Okay, well, I am just trying to get an accurate assessment of what is going on. All right, town of Apex, here you go. Uh, you hardly have any wind. So please, 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 that's the best way for all of us to get an accurate picture. Your comments. You guys on the ground, where you live, what's taking place? I also want to bring your attention to Nola Butterfly. He posted this video on the 13th. Weaponized Florence steered by Doppler radar. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, they're storm side. Bring it in. They're bringing it in. Here we go. Red facing the storm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Wow, wow, that is some crazy ass shit. <laughs> what? Come on, you gotta admit, I mean, it's pretty, pretty freaking, ah, linked up, isn't it? And here she comes, and here she comes, and here she comes, right on the line. Oh my god, she's beautiful, isn't she? Man, these guys are good, man. A hundred years, they've kept this under wraps. Can you believe that shit? There's the, there's the, a hundred years, my friends. Hundred years, my friends. Well, I mean, they weren't doing this back when. Look, I, I'm working on the World of Hot Water episode three, and we're. Now, are we seeing an X-ray harp? I don't know what this site is that she's using. It's pretty cool, uh, but I think what we're seeing here is a uh, high-frequency heating of this hurricane, supposed hurricane right here, the purple circle. 
We're about to crack open that Tesla shit. Yo, mofos. I mean, how can you not just curse in delight? I mean, in like the sheer joy of the simplicity of it all. The, the It's pretty amazing stuff. I mean, look, it's good news, guys, because Tesla had technology that would free us. And in his autobiography, he warned us that if the technology is not made available to humanity, the world will be turned into an inferno. Well, it looks like the world's turning into an inferno. And unfortunately, they don't create the floods over the infernos, like California. All right. Um, just a few minutes of one Pacific re uh, Redwood. And we can see that the uh, system is uh, spinning uh, fairly vigorously counterclockwise right over the ocean. It's picking up moisture. This is a pretty much a rerun of what we saw with um, uh, that hurricane that went into uh, Texas, uh, Harvey. It was parked right near the, uh, the ocean, picking up moisture and dumping it right into, uh, here we see North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia. Now the interesting thing here, let's take a look at uh, the uh, surface analysis map. I'm going to bring this out a little bit uh, over here. Okay, so uh, what we're seeing here is uh, let me move this camera over. We have this hurricane right here. This is Florence, and we have highs installed all over the place up here, here, over here, and right down over here to the left, and right here. This system is pretty much cornered, and also if we look at the uh, if we look at the uh, pressure maps quickly here, we see uh, the right here we've got that hurricane or tropical storm Florence right there. This is the surface map. Let's look at the 500. We see high pressure all over the place, all the way around this storm. Holding it in place. Okay. Uh, I'll link below to both videos. Um, check them out. He also talks about how they can be breaking this up. They can be breaking this up using um, Doppler radar. And he explains how that uh, can be used. But these are the extremely low frequencies breaking up this precipitation. This is our next red uh, radar that they can, they use this to modify weather, to manipulate weather, to steer weather. And we've got these located all over the country. And well, they could be using it for good or they can use it for evil. So we could all be having free energy, but instead they're turning the world into an inferno. Isn't that great? All right, so please leave comments, guys. Where you are in North Carolina, let us know what is happening on the ground. You know, I the areas that are being hit, um, even just, you know, in one area like Wilmington, okay? So we're getting mainstream media reports about how devastated Wilmington is. But then we hear, and I hear from a long-term subscriber, I don't, you know, this is not someone who's just going to lie. Um, friends near Wilmington, North Carolina, said things were fine. Well, we have to know how near Wilmington um, and I've also had uh, subscribers say that they're going to be driving down to New Bern. So hopefully we'll get a report from that subscriber. And yeah, you know, if you can, get into your cars. You know, if you live close by these areas, then drive around and then report back, please. We need to know the truth. 
And unfortunately, uh, we've got way too many liars in this country. In fact, I'll recommend that you watch. It's the lying pockets of the future. Yeah, it's the lying. It's the lying that turns everything dark and evil. Lying. And we're not talking about just mainstream media lying. We're not talking about these crazy, psychopathic, narcissistic, evil uh, lying is their forte. I'm talking about ordinary people. The ripple effect of lies has got us right here. So, all links are below. Stay safe, everybody. And what the hell? Could you pray for me? Please pray. Pray that Duke Energy does not turn our power off. Or that a tree doesn't hit a power line and we're stuck without power. Pray that if I do have a power outage, uh, that it's not for days. Oh, forget about weeks. I can't even go there. All right, guys. Take care.